Hi, my name is Tom Ziegelbauer, and I am the CTO at 0%.com. Today, I'm going to be going through a quick tip for you for sending mass customized emails out of Gmail for free. You heard it free. Now, Gmail and Google do not make this easy. They don't have a tool inside of uh, Gmail in order for you to do this. Um, they do this mainly because they don't want a bunch of people sending out mass spam out of uh, their services. But I'm going to show you an easy way in order how to do this today and how to uh, customize those emails out even further. So make sure you watch through to the entire end of the video for those extra customized tips. So let's get started. All right, so let's get after it. Uh, first things first, if you plan on using this to send out spam, to a bunch of people via your Gmail account. One, shame on you. <laughs> Two, guaranteed way to get your address blocked immediately. <laughs> Google's smart to this. That's why they make mass emailing out of uh, Gmail not very easy. So uh, just forgo all of that, forget about it. Uh, this is kind of a one-off thing like, hey, I want to send out a um, Christmas card uh, thing to a, a bunch of people, or um, I need to send out a welcome letter to an event that we are having. Um, those would be particular um, good uses of uh, this particular tool and uh, this particular script. So I'm going to include a link to this particular page, uh, the creator of this script. Um, and it gives some uh, customization inside of here and a number of things for you. So um, we'll take a look at that. Uh, but we uh, first thing we're going to do under the setup, we're going to create a copy of this sample. So we're going to uh, copy this link address. We're going to open up a new window and you'll see the URL has a slash and then copy at the end of it. So we're going to remove that and hit enter. So um, the reason I'm having you do that versus just create a copy. Now, if you only have one Gmail account that you have, kudos to you. I have like 20 <laughs> of them. I have business accounts. I have personal accounts. I have uh, accounts uh, for uh, clubs that I run and things like that. So I have multiple of them. So you can see I'm, I'm logged into Google Sheets here, actually into my default account, which is my uh, T Ziegelbauer at Gmail account. I don't want to use that one. I have a junk one that I have that's kind of like a spam collector. Um, and then uh, from here, we see that we're still in view only mode. We need to create a copy of that. So I'll just name that whatever. Doesn't matter. It's going to go into my drive folder. This will take a moment for it to spin up this copy and place it into my drive. It's also reading through the script and validating it. And eventually we will get another uh, menu item here, a custom menu item. While that's doing that, we're going to set this up to send out a task to us first. So here's that junk account that I have. And I'm going to select those two rows, hit Control D which is a fill down in um, Excel or in Sheets. And this is pretty much set up now to handle our, our test. So uh, next step is to create a draft email inside of whichever email that we're going to be sending this out. Um, your drive and your um, email should be the same account. So I'm going to go on this one. I'm going to hit compose. 
And now I have that new message. I'm just going to open that up full screen. I'm going to give it a subject. And this is how the script goes and looks at your drafts folder at, for the, the specific subject line in order to be able to send this out. And then we're going to start customizing this. So uh, there was a first name and a last name field in uh, that particular Excel or that Google Sheet rather. So the way we enter in those customizable fields is we do two open curly brackets, two close curly brackets, and we put that field in. And this is case sensitive. So if I were to put in first name like this, it wouldn't work. So it's looking for that. And then I'm going to do two opens, two closes, and I'm going to put in last name. I'm going to put a comma. I'll put in like test body in here, test close, closing, and then end. All right, so I could have a signature in here or whatever. You can customize this however you want, um, but we're using the fields from this uh, to then send. So we have first name, last name. You can't copy this directly um, because it has a bold on it and it will not send properly. So another one of the little fixes I, I found along the way with this. All right, so from here, next steps are, we're gonna send out a test ourselves to make sure that this first and last name customization works. We could enter in description. We could also change the name of this if we wanted to and say it's um, uh, pool noodles. <laughs> I don't know, something creative. It could be whatever you want. Um, we would then put pool noodles with this type of capitalization um, in there between the sets of uh, curly brackets. All right. So we now come up to this custom menu and we'll hit send emails. It's going to ask for some authorization for the account that we're sending this from. Now, this is gonna happen the first time you need to verify this app or the, basically this script. So we're gonna click on advanced, go to Gmail Sheets, mail merge, unsafe, it's safe. Famous last words, right? <laughs> so we're gonna go down to the bottom here and click on allow. First step in terms of allowing that uh, script to fire. So we go back up to mail merge again, hit send emails. This is where you need to enter that specific subject line. So after we've done all of this and we've sent out our task version of this, you can change your subject line to be whatever you want. You can customize your email out, but let's get the uh, mail merge features of this working properly. And then you can customize it however you want and you can put in the actual correct recipients, blah, blah, blah. All right, so I'm gonna click okay. It says it's running the script and then we will see down an email sent at what time these emails were sent out of your email account. So let's go back out to this dummy account that we have. And I'm just gonna click on this sent folder. And now we have two emails that went out and we can see first name, last name, that test body, test closing and end. Again, you could customize this however you want. So what would be, say, the next step in this now that we've successfully uh, done these tests? Can you go back into your drafts folder, open this up. We would change the subject to be whatever we want it. We can change these, whatever we want. Um, we can change the body. We can put signatures in, da-da-da-da. We just leave this set 
it will, once we do these changes, it will save that draft in your drafts folder. We would then come back to this and we would start putting our email addresses in. Uh, we can leave that one. Uh, you know, whatever you're, wherever you're getting this, this list from, we're filling that out. We can put our first and last names in, in there. Um, you could even, uh, if you wanted to, let's say you had a field where you were grabbing it from some other sheet and um, you wanted it to just be full name in here. So we could change the text of this to be say, full name as an example. And then we could be putting their full name in this particular column. And then it will customize off of this and send out to these recipients. Just make sure if you're changing the field here that you're changing the field here. So again, in this case, it would be full name in order to make sure that this works. So hopefully this makes sense to you. Um, there are additional uh, customization steps if you want uh, to uh, change how it appears uh, from, in the um, from and the name of the sender. Otherwise, it's going to just default um, from your email address. But there's some information in here in, in terms of how to do that. If there's enough interest and uh, you can't figure this out yourself, leave a comment down below and I will perhaps do another video for some advanced customization on this. But this should be a very simple way um, in just a couple of steps. Once you run through it one time, then it's, it's super simple um, to do this um, for holiday greetings or whatever you like. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Hopefully you learned something useful today. If you could, please help us out by giving us a thumbs up, giving us a like on this video down in your lower right-hand corner. Give us a subscribe. And down in the lower left-hand corner, checking out some of our other videos on this channel. Make it a great day.